it's air pollution. Air is all around us. Humans aren't the only ones that rely on air. Animals, plants, trees, and all living organisms use the air around them to live. Without it, none of us could survive. The air is made up of different gases. One of the gases, oxygen, is what helps us to breathe. But did you know that our air needs to be clean? When your hands and face are dirty, you can easily clean them with soap and water. But when the air becomes dirty, it's not as easy to clean. When there is dirt and other substances in the air that shouldn't be there, it's called air pollution. Air pollution is made up of odors, particles, smoke, fumes, and other substances which can be harmful for all living creatures, including us. The substances causing the air to become dirty are called pollutants. Some examples of pollutants include gases with harmful chemicals in them, sand, dust particles, and other materials that evaporate and become pollutants. It is impossible for us to not breathe in these pollutants in the air since they exist all around us. Pollution can travel with the wind from one place to another and spread over many miles. When the air becomes polluted or unclean, it affects the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is like a blanket of air which protects all life. Without the atmosphere, life could not exist. The atmosphere protects living organisms from the heat of the sun during the day, and at night it prevents most of the heat from escaping. Basically, the atmosphere helps keep the living things on Earth from becoming too hot or too cold. The pollution in the air affects this blanket and can become harmful to life on Earth if it raises the Earth's temperature by trapping too much heat inside. Pollution can be caused naturally. Natural pollution may come from volcanoes, forest fires, windstorms, pollen in the air, and other sources in nature. Even the air we breathe out, carbon dioxide, is a form of pollution. And did you know that gas the cows and other animals release pollutes the air too? Wow! If you have ever gone outside when there's a large fire burning close by, you have probably noticed the darkness in the air, even if it's in the middle of the day. You might notice that your eyes begin to burn and your throat becomes irritated too. Sometimes there will even be alerts on the news telling us that the air is harmful to breathe that day. That means the pollutants in the air have increased and it's not safe for people to go outside. Or if they have to work outside, they shouldn't stay outside for very long. This is because the pollutants in the air can affect our bodies negatively. Our lungs need clean air to breathe. When they breathe in dirty air, the dirt gets trapped in our lungs, making them dirty as well. Wind can be very helpful at those times by blowing away the dirty air. Rain and snow can wash the dirt out of the air too. Both of those things can help clean our air. Sometimes air pollution isn't caused by something in nature. Sometimes it's caused by humans. Most cars, buses, trains, and airplanes run on gasoline. People use transportation every day all over the world. That's a lot of gas and oil that's being burned and affecting our air. Other air pollution happens when smoke and fumes from factories, gasoline and power plants release poisonous gases like carbon monoxide into our atmosphere. Another way our air becomes polluted is through chemicals that we use frequently. There are chemicals that are sprayed on things we eat as they're growing. These chemicals get rid of the bugs crawling on our produce. Some farmers and homeowners use chemicals to help their plants, grass, and gardens grow. You might think that we should shut all of those factories down so they'll stop polluting our air. However, factories produce electricity, which gives us light and power that we use every day. And most things we buy from factories, like our clothes, our food, our toys and cars, etc. Now that we know what air pollution is, 
What are some of the effects of air pollution on our environment? When rain becomes mixed with pollution in the air, we get something called acid rain. Acid rain can cause harm to trees, animals, fish, and other organisms. The pollutants in our air can also make it harder for crops to grow. Air pollution can cause breathing problems in some people. Maybe you have heard of someone who has asthma, or maybe you do. Air pollution can be a big problem for people who already struggle to breathe. It can affect our eyes, nose, and throat by causing headaches or allergic reactions. Most of those effects will go away when the air clears up, or even if you go inside. But some effects of air pollution can cause health problems for a long time, like lung cancer and heart disease. Air pollution can sound a little scary. So how do we live in a world where there is air pollution? Maybe while watching this video, you have wondered if there was something you could do to help. Well, guess what? There is. Here is a list of things we can all do to help lessen the amount of pollution that is released into our air. We can reduce or lessen air pollution by using less electricity, like turning off the lights when you leave a room or unplugging devices that aren't in use. Recycling and reusing what we already have lessens waste and slows the production of new items. Reduce fireplace use. Carpool to work or school. Ride a bike or walk to a friend's house. Don't keep a car running while you're waiting for someone or something. Turn it off. And don't smoke. Plant a tree. All of us want clean air, but we all have to do our part to have it. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.